this tutorial today i'm going to show you how i can retouch this image in less than 15 minutes and yeah this is the first time i'm doing this so guys wish me luck and what i'm going to do for this image i'm going to do skin retouching and i'm going to do, uh, remove these fly away hairs hope you guys can see them i'm going to remove these fly away hairs and i'm going to uh, whiten the eyes and yeah do some little global dodging and burning to this image and yeah, I'm going to put the photographer's link in the description to as part of his retouching challenge. So, uh, before I can go ahead, I'm, uh, I would like to use this as a disclaimer. I'm going to be using actions in order to speed up my retouching process for this specific image. So, I'm going to be using actions for frequency separation. Then, I'm going to use actions for uh, the global dodging and burning, but Remember, I'm going to put the link down in the description so that you guys can download and follow along if at all you want to uh, speed up your retouching process. So let me get done with the talking and I do my retouching in less than 15 minutes. So let me start. I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to play my, my action, my frequency separation action. So... I'll just get it and play it right away. So for this image, I'm going to be using a radio. So I think I should do less of the talking so that I can be fast enough while I'm retouching. So after my frequency separation, as usual, I'll just come and create, uh, select my high frequency, then create my black and white layer. So I'm going to darken it and I'm going to uh, select my mixer brush tool. And for those who would like to know my settings, I use the wetness of 10. And I did a video about my settings for a mixer brush tool. And I'm going to uh, put the link right above there in the corner. You see it pop up so you can easily click to follow along. So let me start retouching enough for the talking. So yeah, let me... Uh, start uh, mixing this uneven skin tone so i really want to be fast enough and i see if i can be uh, perfect so this is like a test of time for my uh, skin retouching so let me see if i can be a very very good and fast to retouch at the same time so let me retouch I just want to see how fast I can be uh, while retouching. So, hope you guys are following along. So, I didn't want this to be uh, the usual long videos I upload on this channel. So, I just want to see how fast I can go while I'm doing retouching. So, that's why I'm doing this. I want to see how fast I can be. So let me let me mix these areas. Yeah, so I want to do it in less than 15 minutes. I hope you guys uh, timed me. So I think we are into two minutes for uh, blending this unevenness in the skin tones. So let me it fast i don't know i don't know why time keeps on uh shifting time is running running so fast i don't know if it will let me do my retouching in peace but yeah let me let me see how fast and how accurate i can be in those few minutes so let me retouch this yeah just like a test of time for me so i have to keep on checking on my progress let me turn back my black and white yeah and i see how fast i'm going to be uh, while blending these and even skin tones together Hope you guys are seeing and following each and every step. And I'm going to uh, be dropping you guys uh, my my actions. Every single action I'm going to be using for this image. 
so that you can also use them to test uh, your retouching speed so I don't know why time is really really fast but yeah I know I can I can really be faster if I did less of the talking so let me do less of the talking and more of uh, the retouching yeah, hope I'm not boring you guys, but let me just see if I can do my best. Let's see, turn off my black and white. Yeah, so this is where we are right now. So I'm going to delete this. Come to my lower frequency, and yeah, for those who want to uh, view uh, my detailed retouching, I have videos about that. So I'll be putting the links about each and everything I am talking about right now. So, so I'm now applying my uh, fine tuning this image. So this is what I am doing right now. So come to my Gaussian blur. So remember I also shared this trick a while ago in one of my videos. So I'll also put this link right up there so that you guys can also have a test of my secret. I don't know why time is shifting really really fast. And I haven't removed the blemishes. So let me see how fast I can be. I think I'm somehow on time. I don't know. Just testing my retouching speed. So I don't know if that is fine for that. So it's like I'm now fine tuning this uh, this portrait, this image. So. And remember, I've not yet done so so much on this image, and I don't know why time is really not my friend at this moment. But yeah, just want to show you guys how fast I can be while retouching. So I think I'm done with that. So let me get away with these simple simple blemishes. Almost clocking ten minutes for this uh, retouching. Oops, make sure I check your settings before before doing this. So you have to be on your current layer. So start removing uh, the blemishes single-handedly. So I really want to be fast for doing this. Uh, guys, pray for me. Time is not my friend right now. And yeah, there's no shortcut for removing blemishes. I just wish I had a shortcut for my blemish removal, but I'm going to try and do my best to beat this time. And I want this to be uh, one of my shortest videos. Yeah, one of my shortest retouching videos on this channel and sorry if you can hear my the clicks i'm just on my laptop so yeah I just found myself wanting to do some little bit of retouching so right now i'm removing this but i don't think time will be enough for me uh, to remove uh, those little little flyaway hairs from uh, the model, so I think I'll I may leave uh, the flyaway hairs. I just want to see how fast I can be while I'm doing my skin retouching of this image. So, so what I'm doing right now, I'm removing the blemishes. I'm almost clocking 10 minutes guys, I don't know. So 
Just pray for me. Time, time, time. Time is morning. So I just want to see. How fast of the retoucher I can be so So I'm removing these skin imperfections. And I'm using my clone stamp too so I don't know if this is too much. And I want to have uh, the most natural results for this image so I really want to be fast but since I'm using my laptop I don't think I can be faster than this so. I think this is fine so we have some simple blemish right here so I want to get rid of that. So I'll come. I think we are now in 10 minutes. So that's why I'm doing less of the talking because yeah, I'm over concentrating and the retouching and blemish removal. Sorry. Uh, usually when you inherit this is what happens end up making some little areas but have to keep on going back so I think we are done with the first area of the of the, of the model so I'll come right down here and I do some little uh, blemish removal so I'm just going to continue selecting and uh, eliminating these simple simple blemishes like i don't want to do so much of uh, transforming the image so oops i have less than two minutes and i have to do so so much uh more so i think we are done with uh, the blemish removal at this moment so maybe i can try to eliminate uh, this scar right here so i think we are done with that so what i'm going to do let me do a little bit of global dodging and burning so let me go back to my actions i'm going to look for my i'm going to look for my dodge and burn i'm going to play it that I can do a little global dodging and burning before my time really runs out. So I'm going to do uh, the global dodging and burning right now. So let me burn. So right now I'm burning and dodging. I'm doing it globally. So this is where we are right now. Uh, right now I'm doing the global dodging and burning. Now I'm going to select my dodge layer and I'm going to enhance these little little highlights. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, my window is kind of updated so like I haven't gotten time to uh, update it so yeah I think I'm done with my global dodging and burning. Hope you guys can see the subtle subtle difference it has created so i think oh time time i think i'm done with that so i'm going to create a stamp visible layer come to my filter gallery camera row and i'm going to do the eye whitening remember i already set my brush and yeah i have a tutorial about this too about my eye whitening so i'm just going to paint over the eye of the model to remove that redness yeah so what i'm doing i'm kind of desaturating uh the color from the model's eye so i think that is fine i'm going to select the second eye and i'm going to whiten it too so i think yeah my time is almost done 
yeah almost done right now yeah hope i'm not in uh, some extra time so i think this is fine so i'm going to click ok to apply that so let me show you guys the before and after let me put this in a group control g to group them so this is the before after before after before after so you can see uh, what i did for my image so and i managed to do this in just 15 minutes so guys this has been a really challenging video for me and yeah i have managed to retouch this image in less than uh 15 minutes so you can see the before and after i did the global dodging and mudding the eye whitening and the frequency separation for this uh image so and i'll be dropping the actions i use for this uh tutorial so that you guys can follow up and speed up your retouching processes in photoshop i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching this video and if you loved it uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget uh, to hit the like button and drop the comment in the comment section so that i be motivated to create more videos for you guys till next time